Despite what some people may tell you, credit is important. And something that frustrated me as a young adult was the fact that I knew just how important having a good credit score was. But the problem was no one really taught me how to build credit. I mean, it was a challenge just to get a credit card in the first place. I remember scrolling and scrolling on my computer every single day until I could find a credit card that I could actually qualify for. And the first thing that I learned is that it's not easy to qualify for a credit card when you're young and you're not making all that much money in the first place and you don't really have a history of paying anything off. But despite my challenges and frustrations, I was able to take my credit score from zero to over 750 at the age of 21. And I'm gonna share with you exactly how I did that. And I'll also show you everything I learned along the way. And honestly, I wish I would've learned these things much sooner. Welcome to another video. My name is Reggie Bryant. This channel is all about personal finance and personal growth, where I talk about getting out of debt, saving money, maximizing the amount of money you make, and really taking control of your financial future as well as personal growth topics. So let's get into the video. So when I finally got my first credit card, I started using it right away, little by little. And I didn't just do this randomly. I had a plan behind everything I did. You see, due to a lack of financial education early in life, most people don't even know how to use credit cards, much less build credit. But fortunately, I found and talked to the right people about credit cards. And because of that, I was able to come up with these two very simple strategies on how to use a credit card. And the first strategy was to use credit on things that I already had the money for. So let's say you just got a credit card and you need to fill your car up with gas. You would normally spend your money out of pocket on the gas anyways, right? So instead you would just use your credit card. Then once you pay with your credit card, just go ahead and pay off the full balance immediately so you don't have to worry about it. And that's pretty much it. This is by far the easiest way to build credit because you're already spending money that you would be spending anyway. Ways. So I want you to think about applying this strategy in a bunch of different ways. Like when you're going grocery shopping or you're going to see a movie or maybe you're going to get an oil change on your car. These are examples of things that we all do on a somewhat regular basis. And if you use your credit card instead of your own money on these things on a somewhat regular basis, and you always pay off your balance immediately, you'll be able to build your credit fast. Plus, if you do this correctly, you're not actually hurting yourself because you're spending the same amount of money that you would be spending out of pocket anyways. The only difference is you're building up your credit in the process. And the second strategy was to simply make a habit of checking my credit card balance a few times every single month. So I just recommended that you pay off your credit card balance immediately within the first strategy, right? Well, that can be easy to forget. I can't tell you how many times I used my credit card and didn't remember to pay it off until 15 days later. You know what? Sometimes it can go way over 15 days that you forget to pay off your balance. And it can really be easy to forget that you even have a credit card balance in the first place, especially if you have school to study for, projects to work on, a job and extracurricular activities. When you're in your early 20s and you have that busy type of lifestyle, it's going to be very easy to forget about your credit card balance. So to avoid late fees and potentially lowering your overall credit score, get into the habit of checking your credit card balance a few times every single month. So that way, if you did forget to pay off something on your credit card, you can catch it before it's too late. Now, I know these sound simple, but credit cards are honestly something that we tend to overcomplicate. And like I said earlier, it's because people just don't know that much about credit cards, how to use them, or how to build credit. And when I was in my late teens and early 20s, something that I really struggled with was understanding the interest rates and what they meant and how they work. So part of my journey of taking my credit score from zero to over 750 was trial and error. Here's the deal. When you're new to credit cards, you haven't proven that you're reliable yet when it comes to paying off debt. So you're inevitably going to start off with a high interest rate. And when I say the interest rates for credit cards are high, I'm saying when you're a new credit card holder, your average interest rate is going to be 17.89 percent per year now what this means is if you don't pay off your full credit card balance by the end of the month you're going to have to pay a credit card interest on the remaining balance that you have now here's a mistake that i made that you can learn from i was thinking that if i had a balance left at the end of the month that i could just go ahead and pay the minimum payment and avoid the interest rate unfortunately there's a lot of young men who think that and it couldn't be further from the truth Sure, when you're paying the minimum payment on your credit card balance, you will avoid the late fees, but you won't escape the interest rate. So let me give you an example real quick. Let's say you have four tires that you wanna get for your car and the balance comes out to $1,000, so you use your credit card. So that means now your credit card has a balance of $1,000 that you're gonna to need to pay off over a period of time. And either you have these two options. It's either you go ahead and pay it in full or you pay it over the course of months. 
So let's say in this example, you don't know much about credit cards yet. So you decide that you're going to go ahead and pay the minimum payment instead of paying it in full. And the minimum payment is usually $25 a month. That means in the first month, you'll have already paid your $25, which would take you from $1,000 to $975 in your balance, and you wouldn't have to worry about late fees. But let's say you have an interest rate of 17% per year, just like most beginner credit cards. If you take that 17% and divide it by 12, you'll get your monthly interest rate for that credit card, which in this case would roughly be 1.4%. And that 1.4% is going to be added onto whatever it is that you owe. So in your case, you still owe $975 because you already spent your first minimum payment of $25 on your overall $1,000 balance. Now here's the thing, when you multiply 1.4% by $975, you're going to owe $988.81. And look man, I know it sucks, but that's just how the math works. So even though you paid that $25, which puts you at a $975 balance on your credit card, that 1.4% interest per month puts you at $988.81 that you actually have in your balance. So even though you really did spend $25 out of your own pocket, it only left a small dent, and it's almost as if you really only paid $11.19 which by the way is less than half of $25. And I'm so glad that you're watching this video right now because this goes over a lot of guys' heads because you know what? Interest rates on a credit card don't have a sound. Your device is not gonna go off and wake you up and alert you saying, hey, your credit card is accruing interest. It's just not gonna do that. It kind of accrues interest whether you realize it or not, and it does it silently. And that's why consumer credit card debt is one of the biggest forms of debt that we have. Because even as you chip away at a credit card balance little by little, the balance still manages to creep up, and that's exactly why I recommend going ahead and paying off your credit card balance immediately so you don't have to worry about any of that nonsense. But here's the thing though, I don't want to cause any confusion, so I want to be very clear with you when I'm saying this. I used to think that paying off my credit card balance right away was much better than paying off my credit card balance at the end of the month because I thought that I was going to be saving money on interest. I was wrong. As long as your credit card has a gracing period, which most do by the way, paying off your credit card balance right away or at the end of the month would cost you the exact same amount of money. So I don't want you to think that I'm telling you to pay it off immediately because you're gonna save money on interest. No, that's not the case. Because in reality, you won't accumulate any interest within that gracing period because the point of it being a gracing period is to not allow any interest to build up between the beginning of the month and the end of the month. And all your gracing period is, is whenever the due date is for you to pay your credit card bill. So that's the reason why I wanna be clear. I'm not recommending that you pay off your credit card balance right away because it'll save you money on interest. I'm recommending it because it'll keep your credit utilization very low. And don't worry, I'm going to explain exactly what credit utilization actually is. So when you first get a credit card, it comes with a certain amount of available credit that you get. In your case of you being a beginner, you would expect to have $2,500 worth of available credit. Experts advise that you keep your credit card utilization at 30% or lower. Because for one, it helps your credit score out, and two, it shows potential lenders that you're actually a responsible person who doesn't borrow too much at a time. So in your case of having a beginner credit card with $2,500 of available credit, having a credit card balance of $750 or lower, which is 30% or lower of that $2,500 would be ideal for you. Now if you go over that $2,500 of available credit, then you just max out your credit card. That will hurt your credit score and the interest would literally eat you alive. So to avoid all of that, I recommend just paying off your full credit card balance immediately so you don't even have to worry about any of that. And that is a sure way to get a high credit score. Growing up, I viewed credit cards as tools that you use when you don't have enough money to buy something. And the reason I viewed credit cards this way is because that was the way that most adults around me used them. And despite the fact for some people's financial situations, that is literally the only way they can pay for stuff, whether it's rent or food, that's understandable. But I just want you to know that is not how you view or use your credit card. And that's something I think is very important for you to know while you're young, because if you make mistakes in your credit card early on, they can lead to lifelong consequences. And I don't want you to go through that. Anyways, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal growth and personal finance. So you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Stay cold.